So hi, Zach. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> we are here at ALM, and we're going to look at the Tasmo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Tasmo or Tasm O uh, is our um, analog through zero oscillator. So here's it droning. Um, it has a few features, like a nice collection of things on it, and it's quite small. So it, it, the first main thing is it has a output VCA built in. So you can easily do the level with an envelope or something, or you can amplitude modulate. Um, that output corresponds to the shape control as well. So like a surge style shape control that includes the uh, the pulse of modulation at the end of the control. So it's nice if you use the CV input with an attenuator, you can just create a pulse with mod that way or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, then on the other side here, we have the through zero FM, which um, has a manual control, but also a mod index VCA. So um, let me just plug in some FM from the other Tasmo. Um, and then I can get a sequence going. Um, I have an envelope here that I'll use with the VCA. And then Another envelope for the modulation index, which I'll actually turn it down. And then finally, Volt Proctiv. So if we bring this up, there's our envelope controlled FM. Um, and then I can patch a malt of the Volt Practice sequence, so. Ah, oops, wrong output. I'll switch to the shape out. That helps as well, I can add extra level. Um, change the shape as well. Um, so another feature of it is it includes two sub-oscillators. Uh, one is one octave down and the other is two octaves down, kind of like an SH-101. Um, and you can change the pulse width of the second one on the back via switch. Uh, and then finally, the kind of like really unique feature on here that I haven't seen in much else is we have this uh, octave CV input. So you can use an offset to just um, set the octave uh, like here. That gives you an, an octave switch, but you could also use an LFO, and you can create some sort of um, like arpeggiator type effects. So if I just set a triangle wave on the PAMs, and if I speed this up, So it's a really versatile oscillator. Uh, just kind of gives you like best of everything, I think, in like a small package. So uh, we're really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, um, any questions about it or anything? So um, we've got uh, we've got some other stuff to look at as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the new Axon 2, right? That's Axon a new two's expander. Yeah, so it's an expander for the PAMS Pro Workout, uh, the Squid Sample, and the MFX. Um, and it uh, essentially gives you hands-on controls because these modules are like, you know, a little bit deeper digital. So it's nice to have some hands-on stuff. So um, all you have to do is just press the assign buttons when you're on a parameter, and then you have it on the knob here. Uh, and you can go and assign that to anything. Um, you know, we could have like a macro controls with this, uh, and. The other part of it is, um, well, actually, before I get to that, there's also CV inputs, of course, for these. Um, and each one also has its own offset and attenuation digitally. So you can set up pretty complex things with it. Um, but yeah, that uh, also, or below, we also have these buttons. Um, so what, what can the buttons do? 
they can be assigned to several things. So right now I've got it switching my actual output I'm selecting. So I'm jumping through them. This one is going in and out. Instead of holding the encoder, you can just jump in and out. And the nice part about the channel switch is it'll stay on the parameter you're on. So if you want to, say, edit probability on all your outputs really quickly, you can just hit A. Uh, did I hit the end? Yeah, yeah, OK. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, you can just hit this and jump between that parameter on different outputs. So you can really quickly do that. Um, but then we can go reassign it as well. Oh, sorry. In the rotating, we have a new rotate firmware as well, which locks you out from editing as it's going to keep it uh, easy to understand, because it gets quite crazy. But yeah, so axon switch one, previous out, next out, mute, tap tempo. A lot of people have been asking us for that. So now you can tap in the tempo on the PAM. Um, and then you can load next or previous bank via these buttons as well. So for live performance, it's, it's really kind of made for playing out and controlling the PAM you know, more easily. So yeah, and that's simultaneously working with the output expander. So it's not one or the other. It's um, one input expander and one output expander at the same time. So this is like the maximum one, but we also have the PEXP2, which is smaller. And then the Axon 1 is the 4HP CV expander. So That just doesn't have the offsets, right? Yeah, and you can have up to eight CVNs now with the, with the top inputs and these four. So Yeah, because the f top inputs can be reassigned, right? Reassigned, okay, yeah. OK, perfect. So, so um, um, uh, yeah. these, these are shipping now. Do you have a price on those? Uh, ooh, I didn't figure that out, actually, before okay. the event. Uh, but if you check uh, Stockist, yeah, they're in stores now. So. Um, the Tasmo is out, and the Axon 2 is out, and uh, more other things coming soon. So brilliant! Yeah, well, Zach, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, have Cheers. a good one.